think with Raptorina, there's a bit of preparation involved. And what you see me doing there is a braiding or sanding with 180 grit sandpaper. And basically for bare aluminum, body filler and old paint. The body filler was there just to give a smooth transition from the inserts. There I'm applying the etched primer on the bare surface as well as the body filler. And hopefully most of it went onto the ambulance, so as you can see it went off. What we started doing was using a foam roller on top, 8 inch foam roller. But the foam basically got eaten up by the Raptor liner and we switched to a high density 4 inch foam roller. Still those foam rollers uh, weren't resistant to the Raptor liner. So the color we put on was a little bit too dark and as it was drying until the next day it was turning darker and it was actually even getting hot in the sun. So we decided on another color but we continue prepping. We had about two days to go before it starts raining and we found the color, it's a beige that we're applying. That was the second coat going on there. And that's late afternoon, the sun is going down. We also have a little mixing station with our scale and the numbers and the mixing bowls to make sure that the right amount get mixed. For one liter you get about 30 minutes of workable paint time. And we decided to do the roller instead of the spraying because it gives it a much nicer texture. And true to the weatherman, after the two days uh, of clear weather we had, the rain came down. We moved the doors inside to paint it. We've removed the doors with the hinges. It makes it much easier to paint. We also removed the guards at the back, the stone guards. You see me applying the black Raptor liner on the stone guards. And again, that's the four inch high density foam roller. Now it will last, as I said, about 20 to 30 minutes uh, for one paint. But as soon as you get a cut on that roller, it's a write-off. Basically, you have to start with a new roller again. And make sure you wear a respirator, because that stuff is bad as well as it smells. So as you can see we've painted and we've put some uh, Raptor lining on the back. Uh, we still need to finish off the top there. And we had the little bit of blue tape on here that we took off that highlighted the Crestline logo. What we've done is we've painted Raptor line at the back as well. And the stone guard we painted with raptor paint and hopefully this will make a little bit of a difference so what we are going to do is this is for the the hole is for the backup camera we'll install that once it's done and what we're going to do is put up and what we do is just position it if the road stay in and as you can see as we got black ones to make it a little bit easier that we don't have to repaint it Do 
and we will work our way from the outside the inside up. And the reason why I can sit and work there while it rains, we actually put up a huge tarp to cover the whole ambulance so we can stay dry while it rains. And the doors are in the garage. And as you can see, there's the rain coming down, that's why we put the big tarp up. And after five days of rain, a bit of sun, and it's time to take the tarp off and do the big reveal and see how the color turned out. And we are happy with the color. <laughs> 